The Michael J. Fox Foundation is the world's largest nonprofit funder of Parkinson's research. We were founded in the year 2000 by the actor Michael J. Fox. Our mission is to cure Parkinson's and shut our doors. Our ultimate goal is to find a cure for this incurable disease. We found that early on when investing in Parkinson's research, groups would develop tools that they would need for their experiments, and then even the positive projects were hard to follow up on because those tools weren't then made available to all investigators. So we decided to take a proactive approach to this problem by working with Parkinson's disease investigators and companies to develop critical research tools and then make those widely available to all investigators. At the moment, much of my research is really aimed at understanding signaling pathways involved in Parkinson's disease. But we work in a very collaborative manner, so we often do a lot of our research in collaboration with foundations such as the Michael J. Fox Foundation and also many leading clinicians. My lab specializes in, in studying a class of enzyme known as protein kinases that mediate the phosphorylation of, of proteins in cells to regulate biology. After 12 years of really hard work to identify the LRRK2 substrates, we identified RAB proteins as the physiological substrates. This was hugely exciting, especially because of the function of the RABs was, was strongly linked to Parkinson's disease. We kind of immediately knew that we had potentially identified the key link between LRRK2 and Parkinson's disease. Interestingly, LRRK2 encodes protein kinase, and it was known that the mutations in the LRRK2 kinase increase its catalytic activity, but it was not known what its biological function was. So the main mission of my lab since 2004 has been to understand how LRRK2 works in the body, and mainly to identify its key physiological substrates. Before we had the tools to study RAB protein phosphorylation, the research was extremely frustrating because we just couldn't really assess the LRRK2 pathway in a cellular system, and it really was a major barrier for progress. Our relationship with ABCAM started about 10 years ago. We decided that a key gap in the field was good antibodies toward the LARC2 protein and modified versions of this protein. Since that date, we've made 36 different antibodies available through ABCAM, and these have been highly impactful for the field. The Michael J. Fox Foundation played a major role because they funded us to set up a major collaboration with several external partners to bring complementary expertise together to generate tools and technologies that were required to understand LRRK2 better. And then this ultimately led to the identification of the RAB proteins as physiological substrates. EBCAM offers the Michael J. Fox Foundation expertise and the bandwidth and infrastructure to develop these critical research tools. We need a partner who has the ability to work with us to not only make these tools, but also make enough so that we can provide the entire research community with access to them and distribute them globally. I believe that uh, it's really important that we undertake fundamental research to really make sure that we understand the, the biology that underlines Parkinson's disease. But at the same time, it's really important that we we try and translate this, these findings to work with companies and clinicians to develop better treatments that will lead to improved diagnosis and even hopefully a cure of Parkinson's disease in the future. And collaboration, therefore, will be extremely important to achieve this.